Estee Lauder has come out with a new line of beauty products and they're calling it the Estee Edit. And they have got two guest editors for it, which are um, Kendall Jenner and Irene Kim. And I purchased four of the products off of the Sephora website. Now Sephora is the only place that I've seen it. I'm not sure if it's exclusive to, to Sephora or not, but I have only seen it there. I kind of want to I kind of want to say it might be uh, Sephora exclusive. And I just looked on my phone and it does say Sephora exclusive underneath the product. I'm wearing the products that I purchased on my face right now and there will be a demo of that towards the end of the video if you're interested in it. The box packaging is a white and it's got like spilled blue coloring over it, which I think is quite cute. I purchased two of the blushes and they're called the Bear's Blush. I purchased 02 Koi Coral. And this is the one that I have on my cheeks today because I wore this one. I wore Per Pink yesterday, which is the other one. Zero, zero 03 Per Pink and zero 02 Koi Coral. Um, out of the products that I purchased, these are my favorite items. I'm probably going to purchase the lighter, the nude blush in this too because I think that they're just gorgeous on the skin. Now there is a slight overspray pattern on these, um, which I'm not a fan of, of oversprays because sometimes I wish that that overspray sparkle went, it looks so pretty on the skin when you first use it that I wish it was infused throughout the powder. But I've used most of the powder where there isn't an overspray and these blushes just look really pretty on the skin. I'm, I'm a big fan of these and I'm going to get up um, and show swatches of all of these items in a minute so you guys can really see the products. The lipstick that I purchased is one of the mattified lipsticks and I purchased it in the shade 03 maybe later. Um, this is one of those formulas that has got the silicone dimethicone type feeling so it's matte on the lips but it still feels comfortable and I found this lipstick to be quite opaque and just like a pass. It's a really really pretty color. I have noticed I've had this on for around uh, I'd say two hours. There is a little bit of creasing in like in the lines or it's kind of gathering in my lip lines a little bit. For being a matte lipstick though, it feels really nice on the lips. Um, there are some really fun colors in this range as well. I kind of wish that they would have came out with some of the colors in the mattified line in a different finish as well because those are kind of where all the fun colors are at. There's like I think five nude shades that are like the sheer type of everyday nude type colors and then there's two transformer lipsticks as well but I kind of wish that th I could have got this color in a little bit different finish like maybe a cream finish or something because I love the color of this and then lastly I purchased the eyeshadow palette it's called the Estee Edit the Edit eyeshadow palette it says on the website use these 14 shades to shape highlight and transform your eyes with satin pearl and sparkle finishes plus the Estee Edit eyeshadow palette has two shade transformers with black light technology for a glistening glow in the dark effect, use the transformer shades on top of any shadow for extra shimmer during the day and a look that turns up the intensity under black light. All shadows in the eyeshadow palette are brush and fingertip friendly. I used a brush when I used um, the transformers both, both times. And then inside there are six eyeshadows that are 0.09 ounces a piece, which are satin, pearl, and sparkle finishes. There are six at 0.09 ounces, which are satin, pearl, and sparkle finishes. And then each of the transformer shades are 0.15 ounces. So there's a decent amount of eyeshadow in here. Talking a little bit about the eyeshadows inside, I used this palette yesterday and was like so-so about it. And I feel the same way about the shades today as I did when I used them yesterday. They're pressed quite hard and they feel dry. I would almost say that the mattes feel kind of like the creamiest. The purple, the light, light purple shade I felt was quite creamy. Now the sparkle shades, I feel like this kind of um, brown in the palette is very similar in texture to these transformer shades. That's what I have on my lid with a little bit of this transformer over the top. Now they have really fine fine micro glitters in them and yesterday I got more of a fallout because I did pack that transformer all over the lid and the glitter in here um, is one of those type of glitters that if it gets on the face you're gonna have a hard time wiping it off. Some glitters I f that fall out I can just wipe right off my face. These ones kind of stick <laughs> but the shine is really pretty. The shine of them reminds me like like the kind of like the glitters in the Tom Ford um glitter eyeshadows. They're not as pigmented. They're definitely not as nice as those, but that sparkle reminds me of the sparkle that I get from some of the shadows in the Tom Ford quads. Um, but I do think that this formula needs some improvement. It's not the nicest formula. When I felt like I kept going into the pants to try to pick up product because they're like kind of grinding my brush in there a little bit to get 
product in there because they're dry and they're quite stiff. While I'm not nuts about the palette though, I do feel like I can get a pretty type of a look out of it. Like I feel like the look yesterday was pretty. The blending could have been better with the eyeshadows. Um, and today it's it's quite pretty, but it's something that you definitely have to work at. It's not effortless. Like I felt like I was working <laughs> to put my eyeshadow on both times that I used it. But I do appreciate the uh, sort of uniqueness of this palette. I haven't seen something fun come out like this for a while. So in that sense, I think it's fun. And then too, because they're pressed hard, some people may like that because it won't be so difficult to go overboard on certain shades. But if you're really used to some intense, pigmented, creamy eyeshadows, this is, this is probably gonna let you down a little bit. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in and give you guys swatches of all the products. So this first product is one of the blushes and there is 0.21 ounces of blush in each of these, which I think is a pretty nice amount of product. So this one is 03 per pink. And you can see that there's a little bit of the overspray left in there, but it kind of went out to here. I used this one yesterday. I'm really a fan of these blushes. I think they're really gorgeous. They almost, they're so finely milled and silky feeling that, I mean, they almost feel like a cream. And I kind of feel like they go on the skin like a cream as well. Like, it's probably not the best swatch, but like, see if I blend it out, it's almost like a, um, I didn't, like a, sort of almost like a staining look to it. I think that they're really pretty. Better swatch. So that one is per pink. And then this one is 02 Koi Coral. Again, there's a little bit of overspray left in that one, but I'll swatch this side. There are two other shades in this range. I saw one that was quite deep and then one that was more like a nude, but I just think that they're, they're really, really nice products. So that's Koi Coral. Here is the lipstick that I purchased in the shade Maybe Later, number three. The packaging on this feels nice and weighty and substantial, and it's like totally a throwback to old school Estee Lauder lipsticks, I feel like. I really like the packaging on this. It's got like a, a spilt blue effect on there, which is also quite cool. I think it's, I think it's cool. <laughs> so here is um, Maybe Later. And this is what I have on as well. So you can see they're, I mean, they're pretty opaque in a pass. And then here is the Estee Edit eyeshadow palette and it's like a plastic coated cardboard covering and then the eyeshadows are inlaid in like a harder type of plastic and then you got a mirror up there that says Kendall Jenner. So this is like the palette that is um, inspired by Kendall Jenner and then the, the plastic over the top says the backlight transformers and then over here it says turn up the wattage under blacklight layer transformers over these shades. I totally wish that I had a black, a black light to try this out for you guys um, but I don't. Now the glitter, the glitter shades I did use both days and the sparkle is really pretty but I don't feel like they do something revolutionary to transform the shadows but maybe under a black light they do. <laughs> For mattes in this palette you've got these two right here which I did use them together yesterday and they could have blended better for sure. Um, then you've got this color right here which is matte and then you've got a dark matte brown and a dark dark matte black. And then the glitteriest shades are this guy right here which I packed on my lid today and then your two transformer shades. So let's give you some swatches of these. And I used a brush with the transformer shades. I could have probably used um, my fingers because I feel like, you know, they pick up a little bit better on the fingers, but it says you can also use your brush. So that's what I did. So there are the transformer shades and they're showing up much more pigmented on my hand than they showed up when I used the brush over the shadow on my lid. Let's do these brown ones. This color is pretty. I didn't get a lot of fallout with these. The, the majority of the fallout came from like a few specks of the glitter out of there, but it wasn't terrible. You can see that guy needs little assistance. <laughs> then I'll swatch these purples, which I thought were quite nice. I used them yesterday. This color is pretty, this lighter one. Can see they're not like the most pigmented in the world. And then these black ones. And 
Then I'll do these mattes. And I did find that when I put my highlight brush in here for underneath the brow bone, it was a little bit on the small side and I ended up picking up a tiny bit of the orange. Those are two mattes. And then these taupey shades, I just mixed both of these colors together to blend out the crease shade today. And it worked out alright. I just had to keep going in the pan. And then these last two dark browns. So that is the Estee Edit Eyeshadow Palette. I really like the blushes from the line. I'm pretty sure I'm going to pick up at least one more of them. The lipstick is nice too. I'm just not huge um, personally on a matte lipstick. But it's still pretty and it's a comfortable feeling formula. Um, the eyeshadow palette, um, I got a pretty look out of it, but it's... It's lacking. <laughs> if you guys want to see these products perform and how I got the look on my face, you can hang tight and we'll get into it right now. Using a Goss number 14 brush, I'm going to go into the Barest Blush in the shade 02 Koi Coral. I'm just going to dip it in there a little bit. All oh, these blushes are nice. I already went ahead and primed my lids from the lash line to up underneath the brow with the NYX eyeshadow base in ESB01, which is just a matte white. On a Gloss 18 brush, I'm going to start off with this color in the palette, which is kind of one of those glittery um, brown, taupey brown. Pack it on the center of the lid. Using the side of that same brush, I'm going to go into this transformer color, the silver, silver one. And I'm going to put that right here and kind of fade it over the top of that brown. I have a little bit of fallout, which I'm going to brush off right away. Using a Chikahoto GSN 9, I'm going to go into this brown right here. I'm going to put that guy in the crease. On a Hakahoto J5523 brush, I'm going to go into these shades that's a matte mix with like a sparkle one. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to mix them together and start to blend out that darker brown. On a gloss number three brush, I'm going to go into this matte cream shade and I'm going to put that underneath the brow and blend it into the brown. And I'm also going to put it right here. So there's the shadow done. I do have a tiny bit more fallout, which I'm just going to wipe off. And now I'm going to go ahead and finish up my eye makeup and I'll be right back to put on some lips for you guys. For lips, I've got the Clinique Quick Liner for Lips Intense in the shade Intense Hibiscus. And I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with this guy. And then the lipstick is one of the mattified lipsticks in the shade 03, maybe later. This is what it looks like.
There's the overall finished look using the products I purchased from the new Estee Lauder, the Estee Edit collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Thank you for watching and do not forget to wear sunscreen and I'll see you guys later. Bye.